The current political obsession with electric vehicles is really nothing more than a cult. The best example of that, of course, was a couple of weeks ago when the federal government and the Ontario government decided to give Volkswagen $13 billion in tax subsidies. Let's repeat that number, $13 billion in tax subsidies to build a $7 billion plant to make electric vehicle batteries. $13 billion for a $7 billion plant. That's a pretty sweet deal for Volkswagen. It's not much of a deal for taxpayers, but it is an idea of just how eager politicians are to wrap themselves in the piety of the no emission electric vehicle. But of course it had very predictable results. This week, Stellantis, which is the parent company of Chrysler, decided to suspend construction of a $5 billion battery plant it was building in Windsor, Ontario, until Ottawa and Queen's Park upped the subsidies it was getting. So the $6 billion extra subsidy to Volkswagen is going to end up costing Canadian taxpayers a lot more than $6 billion if others like Ford or General Motors follow suit with Stellantis and start holding governments hostage for more subsidies. But it doesn't end there, of course. There are subsidies for buying electric vehicles. In some provinces, that runs to $8,000 per vehicle. Since 2015, when the federal liberals came to power, they have spent almost $6 billion on subsidies just to let consumers buy electric vehicles. And I'm guessing that when it's difficult to get consumers to buy all electric vehicles and not internal combustion engine vehicles, Ottawa or the provinces are going to start subsidizing home chargers. And they're going to have to subsidize remote chargers along highways too. There are vast distances in Canada for 100, 200, 300 kilometers between communities of any sort. And while oil companies find it profitable to build gas stations in each of those communities, in between 20 or 50 kilometer intervals where you're going to need that kind of an interval to charge electric vehicles, it's not profitable. So who's going to pay for that? Well, taxpayers are going to pay for that too. And you're going to find that it's more expensive to maintain roads because electric vehicles are much heavier than internal combustion engines. About a 40% about a premium in most cases on the weight. So of course they chew through the asphalt and the roadbed much faster than the current vehicles we're using. You know, and since the average income of a person who buys an electric vehicle is about $100,000 a year, and the average income of a person who buys an internal combustion engine vehicle is about 60,000, really all of these billions for charging stations and maybe even new nuclear power plants, all of the billions and billions and billions that it's going to cost for this EV fantasy amounts to a huge wealth transfer from middle and lower income Canadians to upper income Canadians who are mostly the ones buying EVs and will be for several years to come. It's entirely possible that electric vehicles aren't much of an environmental saver either. And they certainly are not profitable, nor are they economic. For Post Media, I'm Lauren Gunter.